work commenced on the building of this bridge in November 2014. The estimated cost at that time was £6 million. It was finished in February of 2015 and ran slightly over budget. The final cost turned out to be £10 million. Well, as you can see for yourselves, the spans for this bridge are now straight. But there used to be two timber arches here. These had to be removed because they had become dangerously weak and quite brittle over the years. The sockets for the ends of the wooden arch beams, though, are still present on the bridge walls. The building on our right hand side belongs to the post office. This is the Royal Mail sorting office for the North Yorkshire area. The entire stretch of Riverbank on our left hand side is known as Merrygate Landing. It's a very popular overnight mooring place for private pleasure boat owners, especially during the summer weekends. Beyond the footpath and the trees on that side are museum gardens. These were created in 1827 when the newly formed Yorkshire Philosophical Society purchased three acres of land around the ruins of St. Mary's Abbey. The gardens now stand at 10 acres. The circular tower you can see on our left hand side is called St. Mary's Tower. This is only half as tall as it used to be. It was very badly damaged by Cromwell's army during the Civil War. It was on the northwest corner of a fortress surrounding St. Mary's Abbey. The museum gardens are so called because the Yorkshire Museum is in the grounds, as is a hospitium. Now a hospitium is nothing to do with hospitals, as the name may suggest, but this is where we get the word hospitality. Visitors to St. Mary's Abbey used to stay in the hospitium overnight. It was a kind of guest house. The hospitium is the black and white building through the trees on our left hand side here. For a good many years, these gardens were well known for squirrels and peacocks. Nowadays though, you'll only find the squirrels there. Sadly, the peacocks seem to have disappeared over the last five or six years. I've no idea what's happened to them, but I can tell you the peacock casserole is quite nice. Now, that was a joke by the way, please do not write in, I like my job. If you look through the gap in the trees coming up on the left hand side now, you'll see the Yorkshire Museum at the top of the hill. And if you look to the left of the museum, you'll catch a very brief glimpse through the trees of the remains of St. Mary's Abbey. Directly ahead of us now is the most historic view of York. 